Breaking news here at 1230, a shooting just happened at the protest over a Juan de Oñate statue that was set to be put up in Española. We want to get out to our Spencer Schott, who was at that event when this erupted. Spencer, we're happy to see that you and your photographer, Adan, are safe. What can you tell us? Well, yes, Danielle, Odon and I are safe. We've moved away from the area that has been surrounded by police tape. But about a half an hour ago, a man was shot by a counter protester here at right in front of the county clerk's office. Uh, we caught the moment on camera when you heard that gunshot. Listen to this. Let him go. Oh, Just a little bit more context of what was happening in those moments. My photographer Adon and I were right in front of the county clerk's office door listening to speakers talk about and celebrate that the Oñate statue was not going to be resurrected today when one of the counter protesters charged the block where the Oñate statue was supposed to go up and where protesters had built a small shrine. A couple of the folks who were protesting tried to tackle the man who was charging at the statue and he pulled out a gun and fired a single shot and drove, uh, ran away and drove away. Witnesses tell us that he drove away in a white Tesla, but the suspect's description is young, uh, about early 20s, shoulder length brown curly hair, was wearing a red Make America Great Again hat, a bright teal hoodie, and jeans. There is no word right now about the condition, about the man who was shot, and no word yet from police on whether or not the suspect has been apprehended. Talking to some folks who were out here for the protest say the man who pulled out his gun was known to them as a online troll who was show up at events like this just to raise a stink and counter protest what they are saying. That's all the information we have right now, but we will continue to follow this and bring you more tonight at five and six. Danielle. All right, Spencer shot live for us in Española. We saw a lot of state police around that area. We're going to have much more, as he mentioned, coming up in our later newscast.